watching Fox 6 News, part of the Raycom News Network, Alabama's news source. A young woman named Courtney Boyle has turned tragedy into a teaching triumph. Now, she's paralyzed from the waist down, but she hasn't let that get her down. The once promising young athlete now inspires her community with a commitment to education. Britton Lynch shows us how. I believe that what happened to me was just an accident. Um, you know, driving too fast on a little country road. 20 years ago, Courtney Boyle was finishing her sophomore year of high school. A standout basketball player with Division I interests from schools all over. When a car accident changed everything. I was just named first team All-State while I was in the hospital. And I remember the doctor coming in and I remember asking him, will I ever walk again? And he just flat out said, no, I, I don't believe you'll ever walk again. And we had our first, you know, words since when it happened. Um, it was a smile. And it was, I was crying and she was saying, it's going to be okay. Accidents happen. I just believe how we respond to them is, determines the outcome. Courtney credits her high school coaches for teaching her how to do just that. Through athletics, you know, pushed me to dig deeper, to know that it was in me to overcome, to know it was in me to win, and not to look at, you know, the accident as a loss, but to overcome it and win. Let's look at you now. And she has. Person, place, and thing. When she tells me not to give up inside of me, I feel, don't give up. Just do what Miss Courtney asks you, and you can, it'll be a better day for you tomorrow. Courtney now teaches a class of third graders and embraces the opportunity to share her story. You think about it, how many, you know, people can say they had a teacher in a wheelchair. You know, I know I never did. I was like, wow, I've never seen a teacher in a wheelchair. I think it's interesting. Why? Because she's different and I like that. Have you ever had a teacher before that's in a wheelchair? No. What did you think about it? I think, Oh my gosh, my teacher's so special. <laughs> Although on the outside, Courtney's all smiles, her daily struggles have recently worsened. A month ago, while getting out of bed, reaching for her wheelchair, Courtney fell on the ground and broke her leg. That's when her sister Robin found an online contest through National Mobility Awareness, giving away four wheelchair accessible vans nationwide. I just think of her having to pull up in her car and get that chair out and do all those things. And, you know, I just, if there's anything I do, do to give back, I thought this contest, you know, I'm just, that's why I'm really passionate about it. I think I, I probably bug people every day. I'm constantly on Facebook saying, vote, vote, vote. Remember to vote. Tell your brother to vote. Tell your sister to vote. Tell everybody to vote. But I, that's just how passionate I am about it, that I think that she deserves it. Since entering the contest, all of Moulton Elementary has gotten involved with t-shirts, social media, and even a sign outside the building. Vote. <sighs> because it looks hard trying to get her kids in and then getting herself in and then undoing the wheelchair and then get, putting it out and getting the cushion in and putting it in back together and then picking herself up again and putting it over there. But you won't hear her complain. Her just outlook, it just makes me want to be a better person. Um, and makes me want to not have a bad day. Don't let life drive you, drive it. But even without the contest. Maybe this group of kids and the, you know, certain groups of children that I've taught will be able to remember that teacher in that wheelchair that pushed through every day. She's already accomplished her greatest goal. She teaches you never to give up and I like that. Britton Lynn, Fox 6 News, on your side. Britton here on the set with us today. She put that story together the other day. We really want her to win that van. Yes. We really need her to, so how can we help? Well, we put the link on our website, myfoxal.com. You just got to vote. The voting ends tomorrow, so okay. you have to vote today, and I think you can vote as many times as possible.